Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA car kits and the 2008 Honda Fit and today we're going to be installing our pure Bluetooth car kit. So we're going to start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a 8mm socket with an extension and also some sort of uh, panel removal tool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the screw. It's underneath here. It's a Phillips screw and it holds the panel underneath the controls here. remove the screw we're gonna take our panel removal tool and kind of get underneath here there's only two clips holding it Oops. okay so as you can see just two clips and where you, when you're gonna be putting it back make sure you put put it with these with this end first and then you clip it back in once you do that now there's uh, two bolts underneath here that you have to remove but before that we have to remove uh, or actually disconnect three cables that hold uh, actually without removing them you can't remove the radio so we have to drop the glove box down basically you put the glove box down push on the ends and the glove box drops so now we're gonna show you what we're gonna have to do here so as you can see here, there's uh, three different uh, colorful cables. So there's this purple one, orange and blue. So that's the ones we have to disconnect. Uh, for the blue one, you have to use a Phillips screwdriver right here and get that screw out. For the top ones, you just have to unclip it from the clip and then remove from the plastic part. So first we're actually going to remove it from the plastic, just like that. Then we unclip it, same with the top one. And as you can see there, there's a little clip that you gotta press in on top in order to slide the cable off. Okay. And then we're gonna unclip it. So that's two right here. So make, remember where they go. And then we're gonna do the bottom one right here. So we're gonna undo this Phillips. Make sure when you're removing this screw that you don't drop it. I'm afraid to drop it myself. So I'm just gonna use my hand for the final turns. And this is the screw. Once you remove the screw, I'm gonna do the same thing as you see. There's a clip on top of the white round pin right here. So we're gonna press on it and disconnect the cable, just like that. So th this is right here, that's, that's all you have to do. So you have to remove these three cables because they're holding the whole radio panel down. And then once you're putting it back, just clip them to the original clips. It should be pretty easy and of course, put the screw back. So like I mentioned before, you're gonna need, for the next step, you're gonna need uh, your eight millimeter socket with an extension. And that's in order to get two screws. And it's pretty hard to show here on the camera, but there's, they're kind of semi screws, semi bolts. And I'll show you why. <clears throat> so there's one right here, and there's one on this side. So you need an extension to reach it. And we're gonna remove them right now and show you how they look. So these are the two bolts semi screws that I mentioned earlier that were here on the sides. As you can see, you can use a Phillips, but usually they're very tight and Phillips will just not undo them and you'll just strip them on the inside. So that's why right from the beginning I said you should use eight millimeter socket with an extension. So now, once these two bolts are out and you disconnected the cables at the back, now the radio is ready to come out and basically you just gotta grab it underneath and push it out. It might be for the first time, it might be harder, but there's three clips on top, two at the sides, and the radio basically comes off. And uh, right here at the back, you're gonna see this is the connection for, the, for our kit. Now we're going to show you what comes in the kit 
And another thing that I forgot to mention as one of the tools that you'll need, you'll need a coat hanger and we'll show you how to do it because we have to fish the wire in order to wire our microphone all the way to the A pillar here. So with the kit you're gonna get uh, the module. There's the harness cable which we're gonna plug in to the back of the radio where I just showed you. And the other end goes into our module. You're also gonna have an auxiliary connection and you can wire it depending if your car has an auxiliary or not. So there's an auxiliary out. There's also a USB charging port if you wanna wire an optional uh, charging cable and there's a microphone so the microphone we're gonna wire to the A pillar and that's for you to do phone calls so <clears throat> we're gonna show you this step next and this is and I mentioned that you need a coat hangers because right here you have to basically fish the wire all the way from the A pillar to the back of the radio and right here this panel doesn't come off it's a solid piece so you have to use the coat hanger to just fish the wire it's pretty easy and we'll show you how to do it so first thing we're gonna do is remove this panel and it just drops down and then there's to put it back you have to put it in with this end first but I have a suspicion that you should have some turning thing here but this car uh, maybe it's broken off so you have to remove this fuse cover then we're gonna remove the weathering strip and we're gonna start from the top we're just gonna move the panel away and we're just gonna fish the wire down and the main point is to get it behind here. So you have to use your hands to catch the wire at the back. <clears throat> and pull it, but make sure you pull it not too hard so the wire doesn't catch on any parts of the metal and damages. So once you got the wire going, you just have to tuck it back in right here and put the rubber piece back. Like that. So make sure you take your time and the wire is not sticking out anywhere. So for this next step we're going to be using coat hanger and we're going to need some uh, electrical tape. So basically we're going to feed the coat hanger from, from here, from the inside, from the back of the radio. And we're going to use our other hand to catch it on the other side. Just like that as you can see it's already over here. <clears throat> So now we're just going to take some electrical tape and tape the end of the microphone wire to our coat hanger and pull it through. So it shouldn't need too much tape as it's pretty straight uh, pulling of the cable. So once it's taped carefully, pull it through and now you have it coming out on the inside at the bottom. So we're just going to remove the tape and now at this point you can uh, put the fuse cover back as you can see now the wire is perfectly hidden and all you see is right here your microphone. So as you can see the harness is connected to the module so now we're going to plug in the module into our radio just like that and then the microphone cable we're gonna plug it into the microphone slot right here make sure you connect it to the right slot and that's pretty much it so now we're gonna actually tie the wires so they're uh, nice and close together and we're gonna be tucking the module right behind the radio here and like I mentioned earlier if your car doesn't have auxiliary you can also run the auxiliary right now and it's everything is open so you can easily just drop it into the glove box because it's right here and have the auxiliary come out of there and also same for the charging cable you can wire it to the glove box and tuck in the module right here behind the radio and now we're gonna reassemble everything and show you how everything works so we're gonna put the car to accessory position so the radio turns on so right now it's in uh, CD mode everything stays the same none of the functions you would have before get disabled so now we're going to press the auxiliary button and uh, you get the CDC mode which you didn't have before and right now it's in disk 1, track 1 so now we're going to go to our phone's Bluetooth settings and pair it to the device and 
you only have to do it once and then every time you get inside the car it's going to appear automatically so here you go GTA car kit so that's it it's been paired so now we're going to go to our music play some music so you gotta make sure you turn up the volume on your actual phone so it matches the car system and then the rest you can just do from the radio and when you're gonna receive your first phone call also make sure to turn the volume up because phone calls have a separate volume function so it's pretty easy to use so we're just gonna use our buttons to skip tracks so you can do it right from the radio as you can see it's switching songs this is also this the button that you're gonna be using in order to answer phone calls so you're gonna press next to answer phone call or to hang up you're gonna press next so we're gonna demonstrate how that works so you have to be in our kits mode in order to do phone calls so in the CDC mode so the music will pause and you're gonna hear a ring just like that so the music so now you can either answer from the phone or through the radio so we're gonna press next track the phone call is answered and you can hang up same button and that's it you're back to playing your music so it's pretty simple to use and uh, that's pretty much it and also if you wired the auxiliary in order to get to the auxiliary mode you have to use this disc down and up buttons to switch to disc 2 right here so this would be your auxiliary and then to go back to Bluetooth you're gonna press again you go there's only two discs here so in disc 1 that's your Bluetooth and as you can hear it's playing without any wires so again this was a video for GTA car kits in 2008 Honda Fit I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time